What's up everyone? My name is G and this is my experience with akathisia. Before I get started, please subscribe if you are new. I make videos about mental health and my experience and I also make some lifestyle videos, some hauls and things that I bought that I don't hate. So, okay, let's get on with the video. It is so hot in the UK at the moment that I'm gonna film this video as quickly as possible uh, so I can go and sit back in front of a fan. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience with akathisia, some talk about suicide and self-harm and things come up. So if that is something that triggers you, then maybe don't watch this video. This video might not be right for you. So I will not be offended if you just stop watching right now. <laughs> So akathisia means the inability to sit still. It can cause severe distress in an individual. The inability to sit and just do nothing and relax is something that you take for granted until you can't do it. And I'm not talking about like ADHD or, you know, like a bit jittery, a bit anxious and on edge. It is, I cannot stop moving basically so it's really common to get akathisia when you start taking antipsychotic medication uh, so i've just started a new medication called aripiprazole which is probably the reason why i have suddenly developed akathisia my issue is is that my medication is really working for my bipolar and it's really really helping but as soon as i take it up from five milligrams to 10 milligrams, I get something called akathisia and it is really, really painful and really horrible. Some of the symptoms of akathisia include shifting weight from one foot to the other, shaking your legs, walking or pacing, feelings of inner restlessness. So your anxiety could be really bad. You might just not be able to sit comfortably or get comfortable. Rocking back and forth, having panic attacks. One that I had was itching all over. I had really itchy skin, like it was on fire and like there were teeny tiny bugs crawling under my skin. But mainly it's not being able to sit still. As you can imagine, when you are working a full-time job and you have the inability to sit still, it can get quite exhausting and frustrating and people will often get so exhausted and frustrated that they become violent or they harm other people, they harm themselves, they are trying to gain some sort of control. I say they, this is something that I noticed in myself. So yeah, that's not so nice. Um, having thoughts of self-harm and thoughts of suicide down to a medication that will not let you sit still, but it, it has helped me to realise that I need to do things in moderation and maybe go in full steam ahead with like a high dose of medication maybe wasn't the right thing for me. So I personally, like I said, have been uh, struggling with this and I could not stop crying. You might have seen in my last mental health video, I couldn't stop crying. I didn't have a reason to cry other than I was exhausted. Um, and that was really, really difficult. It was difficult to watch and it, it was kind of difficult for me to deal with and for the people around me to deal with. But my medication is balancing out my mood, like I said, it's really working. I feel like my normal self. I feel like I'm in a really, really good place and that's really great to see. I don't think I've felt like this for about 15 years. So seeing the old me and seeing how far I've come with medication and working on myself. I am just super proud of myself and you guys, you know, who are battling through um, taking medication, taking antidepressants, coming off them, uh, working out whether to go on them or not, you are super, super brave and you should know that I'm really proud of you too. So, do I just keep powering through and hope that it will eventually die down, which is what I've been told. Or do I switch medication again for the 14th time? I will be switching to a new medication if I do that. So I really don't want to do that <laughs> uh, because I'm sick of starting new medications. It hurts. <laughs> 
let me know in the comments I would love to know if you guys knew anything about akathisia before this video if you have any experience of it if you have any um, symptom relievers that you would love to share with me I would love that one thing that has helped me is taking antihistamines taking Benadryl I found that that's made me very calm and not made the symptoms as bad so that's been quite good it's so hot <laughs> this is really only the symptom that I had with aripiprazole I haven't really had any other symptoms other than akathisia other than uh, not being able to sit still so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up uh, if you hated it don't give it a thumbs down please <laughs> and yeah I will see you next week for another video I'm gonna sit in front of the fan now oh it's hot hot <laughs>